Hello guys, my name is Mirko. I'm a lighting artist at Mirko's Animation and today I will try to show you uh, a tutorial about lighting compositing of my last uh, last personal project about uh, uh, Lego House of the Dragon uh, adaptation. So I will show you. Um, so we will try to make the lighting of this frame just for showing you my tips and tricks uh, what I did and uh, I will show you also compositing uh, what I did in compositing uh, in Nuke and uh, yeah I hope uh, it can be useful for, for all you and uh, sorry for my English it's my first try doing uh, an English tutorial uh, but I want to attend to more people, so we can start. I have my Maya scene. Uh, I just delete uh, all my lights for starting by zero. So I have uh, for this shot I have two layers. Yeah, some problem because I no worry. I have uh, normally I have two layer with background character after uh, I divided with the uh, Viserys and the uh, Daemon. Uh, so one layer for character, but uh, it depends on you. In this case, we will use this layer and the background layer, and uh, we can start with the, the character. So I will show this layer. Okay, I have just the character on uh, so Viser Viserys and uh, the cutout for the old G of old location. So. If I will start now, uh, naturally I will have uh, black because I don't have light. I just keep those point light in background because uh, the, this, the, there are candle, candle light, just practical light. It's not uh, affect the, the character, it's just for the, the background. And uh, yeah, it takes a bit of time. Uh, we wait. So, yeah, like I saw you, just those candle lights, and uh, here we, we have nothing. Um, I had just this blocker that I delete also, because uh, we create another after. It was a blocker for the crown. So, we can start. We can start. First thing that I do, if my PC allow me. A bit slow. Uh, I will check how many core. Uh, I have 20 core in 24. It's okay. So first thing, I will create the key light because it's the first light. The first light for for starting. And uh, I use uh, mostly Arnold area light. So quad light. We can use also spot. You know, in those cases, in in many cases, but. I prefer the quad light, so I name it light key. I'll create a group because I I I like to have a proper outliner, so I I like to group it, name it correctly. It's important for when you work. Mm. Why well, my piece is so slow? Light, okay, no worry. Okay, so sorry if I sometime I, I'm in silence because uh, uh, I'm a <laughs> monotask guy, I can't, uh, I don't speak a lot and uh, working at the same time, so I will, uh, I will try to do my best to explain at the same time. Uh, so we have black because we don't have enough exposure, it's normal. So we can try with uh, uh, 70, 80 maybe. Yeah, 70, 17. I also reduce the sample for, for be faster. 
because uh, we ha I had the, the setting for final render. Uh, yeah, so you have SSS because subsurface always take a lot of time. So if we analyze what I have e here, we can better we can analyze directly uh, the original frame when I'm inspired for for this work. Uh, so we have a key light that uh, that are, is here in the right in the right uh, side of the of the face of Viserys. We have a window here that make this rim light, uh, this this other rim light in Daemon, and a very uh, a not very strong fill light, very little fill light here for the face. But uh, in this sequence we have a lot of black, a lot of black uh, in, in general. So we 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 can try to do it in uh, in three D. Uh, for not have a, a classical 3D look, but more cinematographic look. So in this case, for example, for the crown, I have easily a lot of frame light in my lighting, so I put, for example, blocker for for stop those rim in the crown and for having this zone in more in dark. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a bit of a turnaround workaround in in lighting when we we do it in 3D. So, uh, in LEGO, we have to play a lot with specular because uh, uh, the material crate is the specular here in the face, but it's the characteristic of the LEGO. So we, we have to play with uh, those specular for make it beautiful. Uh, in this case, we, we will try to push the specular more in the right. So we push the key light more in the right without create a, a rim light, of course. So I like the big key light, I will increase the size. Okay. Okay. For the moment I will keep it, I will keep it for the moment, and we can we can do the rest of the lights and uh, adjust it little a little with the uh, with the time. So I I like to duplicate. We'll duplicate this light. Name it it a rim. Hmm, my PC is very slow today. Rim. So I can isolate. Uh, when I work, I like to 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 use this uh, this uh, isolate selection in Maya. It's very great and powerful tool because I can isolate on uh, only one light or one shader on one texture, whatever I want, and uh, it's very easy to working like that. Mm, I will create this rim. I will create this rim first. Okay, it's very strong for the moment, we will reduce it after. Uh, okay. Maybe 17. And I will start to, to, to give a bit of color here in Maya, but I will adjust it in, in uh, compositing. Uh, mostly, but I, ha I like to, to, to play a bit with the color also in the render, of course. So I will keep those color with uh, this tool. It's, uh, yeah, 
I will keep the window. We work in uh, uh, yeah, important information. We are in we have we work in ACES, ACES GG color management. So uh, the colors uh, a change of saturation very uh, very fast. They have a strong saturation. We, here we have a just a little bit in green tonality, and watch we we have a a strong green. So uh, be careful with that. I I will reduce it a little bit uh, for having more for, for being more, more flexible in compositing so I will keep it for the moment and how you can you can see in this case we have a strong ring light also in the crown uh, and it's not the case in our original uh, frame of House of the Dragon and uh, here I don't have it because uh, I, I delete it in, uh, in compositing of course but also with a blocker so we will add a blocker here light blocker A cube light blocker box, sorry, with density one. I select, I select it. Okay, here, how you can see, it works, it works very well. Okay, for not having a cut of the blocker, I will do a eight edge, a sort of uh, uh, roundness for for having a, a bit of translation here, how you can see. So for, for being more natural, for being more natural. So I, I, I tweak a lot with the blocker and the light, but it's a... I want to do uh, the tutorial as short as possible, so I will keep it like that, just for showing you the example, but normally I, I want to avoid this uh, grading, sort of grading here that we have, but it's okay for, for the tutorial, I keep it like that. Okay, just a little bug of Maya, we just in those case do an update full scene, it's uh, what I did. So we have the key light and the rim light so we are good we are good with two lights we have uh, we already have the direction of the of lighting we, we have the this uh, strong rim here this key light it's pretty similar to this one i i had the i will add the this fill because we have uh, yeah this fill like i told you for uh, avoid this dark, those dark zone here, having a little more, a little bit more of bounce, so I I duplicate this key all the time. Uh, you can create another new light if you want. It's uh, I do it because I I already have the this position. Um, okay, we do play. Ender. We will place this fill light here. Perfect. Of course, we make it fill and not second key. And I will use a warmer color because in, in this case it's very cool but I I, I prefer to use a, a bit warmer color for this uh, fill for yeah just a little bit for have more tonality uh, like that it's okay it's okay I will do a screenshot of what we have now here 
so the demon is already. We don't look for the moment at the uh, demon, but we will keep the uh, eye for later. We will show the fill, not the key one. I rename it fill. And I think, I think that it's okay. I think that it's okay. We don't have the the dark the dark area like here. We have a bit of information here. So I can say that it's perfect. Same thing here. Here we had dark area. Now we have more information. We have this rim. Like uh, yeah, I here I I deleted after in comp, but we we have this rim in the air, this nice rim in the in the face, so it's more or less the same thing. I show here with the dove, but I can I can uh, uh, avoid the dove just for the preview for being also more faster. Uh, and yeah, we are we are good. We are good. So we, it's uh, it's what we wanted. Uh, have the specular here in the right side and avoid the old specular here, like I I told you. For the environment, I will show you the environment now. Uh, yeah, I will show all scene first for show you one thing. In my in my in my shot, uh, I think that I did. It's uh, 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 boosted exposure just for the environment because the the those light of uh, character uh, was uh, wasn't uh, enough strong for for lighting the environment. So I I just do a, an override of exposure for uh, for having more light in all environments. I will show you now. How I do it in uh, in layers. So, first thing I will create another light now that we see the environment for the window. I, I just the pose for being more faster. I duplicate this key. I make it at the size of the window. Okay. I will keep the color of the rim light because it, it was the same uh, green of the rim. In this case, what we did is create a strong rim for, for making this rim in character because the window light in 3D is too far for making this strong rim. But it, in, the, in, in the lighting, it's the same light. Uh, I mean, this rim light is created by the window in the, in the natural light in the film. So it's the, of course, it's the same color. Okay, we put the camera to one for C, the light in the exterior okay we make it a, a little bit stronger for having this nice uh, this nice bounce here this uh, it feel a bit the environment also this light so okay 20 maybe Okay, we have already information. I think it's cool. Uh, in this case, we avoid the atmosphere, but we we also have the atmosphere that it's very strong here. Uh, we can reduce it in comp or reduce it directly in um, in Maya. So first, I avoid I delete all volumetric in the rest of the lights. It's because I show you the the old layer, uh, but it's not 
it's not obligatory because in the character layer I already uh, override this in your atmosphere for don't have atmosphere with all the lights but it's just for showing you in the in this case uh, so yeah I will ju I just keep the atmospheric of the window just a little bit in any case we can uh, we can uh, uh, edit it in compositing, but I think it's okay right now. Uh, here I already have I already have the AOV because I created it before. It's simple. You create a RGBA underscore with the name of your uh, light group. So in this case, I have the all the light group. I all the light group of my sequence. I I had I have just to rename. The light, the light group, so in this case key, rim, rim, fill, maybe it's better to stop the render for going faster, fill, and in this case the light window that I will rename window. Uh, sky, yeah, I name it sky, so I will write here sky. And if I do the render now, we will have the fill light, the key light. Yeah, rim one, it's because I had to rim in other shots, so it's a, like sort of master lighting. So I will name it rim one, and now I have it. And the sky, I have the 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 window light. Emission, I have the volume, so I can see that it's great. Specular direct, indirect for having uh, having all kind of information, and I think that we have we are okay. Um, we have a, a, a little light here, so we can do it. I don't do the lighting at the Perfection with the preci precision. Uh, sorry for my English. And in this tutorial, because it lighting, it's a it's a work that take a, a lot of time, uh, a lot of time doing uh, moving light of a little bit, trying different stuff. It's very. We have to be patient in lighting. Uh, it's a lot of work of hour of working and you don't see it uh, in uh, in terms of uh, in terms of activity in the in this case because uh, you can you can think it's just five light and uh, it's okay it take it 20 minutes but no it's an history of exposure uh, try the first stuff a lot of observation so okay it's very strong. I will use temperature right now for this. I can keep it like that for the moment. And I think it's okay. We have more or less all information that we need. Yeah, maybe just another light for the throne, another uh, a second key light for the throne. That we can put here. But I think it's okay. In, in, in any case, here it's blurred, so yeah, uh, we can reduce it in compositing. Uh, and I think it's okay. We can uh, see what I did in uh, compositing uh, a little bit more faster than this lighting tutorial, just for show you, showing you. So what I did. What I did here, I mixed a, an old render for not doing another render with a, an old version of Viserys 
with uh, more long hair before I decide to do an animation so cut the hair for for being more easily uh, so I did a second render of layer and in this case I separated daemon in a render and uh, Viserys in another and I compose it with the background all together for having the final result so uh, what I do basically in, in uh, compositing I, I do Basic, basic stuff, really basic stuff. Uh, in this case, for example, I, I take the specular indirect uh, AOV pass, I do a difference with the, with the, with the render for, uh, for delete it. And uh, okay, in this case, I did nothing, it was a test, I, I, I don't use it after, but I, I use the cryptomate, I do my grading, I add it another time with the grading in the in the part that I want and I copy the I copy the the new channel in the old channel. So yeah, in this case what I did. In this case I had with the history of the blogger I, I had this uh, little defect here, so we had a little bit of light also in the crown. So I, for not doing another render, what I did, I just deleted it using a cryptomate. With the shuffle I take this light, so in the shuffle I take the RGBA ring 1. I subtract it from the original render, I did a grading, so with the mask of the cryptomate for having just this part of the crown, and I add it another time in the the final render so now before after without this piece of ring uh, here what I did yeah I just changed the color it's a it's very tiny uh, color correction sometime sometime that it can be very helpful uh, in this case the hair I just did a color correction before after just the saturating uh, changing a bit the color the face, same thing, a little bit of grading and color correction for being more closer at the original frame. So yeah, I had the, the, the volume in another, uh, another render layer, so I separate the, the volume uh, in another layer, yeah, and I add it after. It take a little bit of time because we have a lot of correction and layer. Uh, here I have a little bit of uh, volume uh, ray, and the final color correction is just a story of uh, correction of the black point. Uh, in this case, the gamma. Uh, I had a a bit of gain in the blue called tonality for having a, a this kind of blue in all the image uh, yeah and uh, i compare with the original frame for being sorry i will take it with the reformat for being more closer that we can this was the the main purpose of this uh, personal project and uh, it's also what we do in uh, w when I work when I work, for example, because continuity it's a it's a big uh, big thing to do in uh, in all the shots of the sequence. So in this case, I can say that we have continuity <laughs> with the original House of the Dragon shot. Uh, it looked like similar, so it's okay. Uh, not similar at all, but it's okay. Yeah, so thank you guys for uh, for watching this tutorial. I hope that uh, it uh, can be helpful for uh, for having lighting tips uh, for for help you. Uh, it's my first, so if you if you like it, tell me, like it, share it, and uh, I I can do other other kind of uh, of this tut of tutorial like that. So thank you everyone. And uh, have a nice day.